I hope you have downloaded the prompting PDF. In this video, we will go through it together. Any chat with the AI is as good as the goal, context and persona. Therefore, these three are at the start of the PDF. The goal is always required. ChatGPT is based on a model called InstructGPT. It literally expects instructions and performs best when you provide them. Provide the AI with instructions by using verbs like create, translate, draft, rephrase, write, summarize, and so on. Another way to define a good goal is to ask a question like what, why, how. Context is always required too. Every new chat starts from scratch. ChatGPT doesn't remember anything you have said in a different chat. The fact that yesterday you had a great chat doesn't mean anything. ChatGPT simply doesn't know about it. Therefore, you need to always, always provide context. Use as many details as you can. Simply imagine you're explaining it to another person for the first time. Defining a persona is optional, not because it is not important. It is just not applicable every time. For instance, I need it in about 50% of my chats. The rule of thumb is use a persona whenever it can improve the context. And remember, a persona is just a lot of context with few words. Save the top 5 personas you've had most success with. Just write them down or save them as prompts in TeamGPT. Ok, every time you start a new chat, make sure you've got the three big ones. Goal, context and persona. Don't be lazy. Be committed to helping ChatGPT understand you better and it will understand you better. Alright, these were the fundamentals that always apply. However, you never get the best answer from the first time. You need to improve the results somehow. Here are the most common techniques. First, regenerate response. <clears throat> regenerate response is the most common one. Whenever you don't like the result, try regenerating and it might be way better. 2. If the conversation is not going well, start a new chat and try prompting differently. Once a chat has gone bad, you can rarely fix it. You should either delete the messages or simply start a new chat. 3. Provide examples. This is very important and we will have a separate lecture on it. 4. Add constraints whenever needed. For instance, start a sentence with the word TMGPT. Asking the AI to change the tone from professional to friendly or vice versa is also often needed. Number 6. Don't stop iterating. Try adding more context. Try coming up with other ways to express yourself. Iterate until you have found the right approach. Number seven, use a prompt creator. Using a prompt creator is always a possibility. A prompt creator is a prompt that helps you create other prompts. It might take time, but for hard tasks, it can really, really help. Break the big text into smaller texts and explore part by part. Paragraph by paragraph is usually what we mean. GPT is smart, but it is not human. Number 9. Ask for a different perspective on a topic. It is always, always useful and interesting to see other perspectives. Number 10. Break down into smaller bits. Never tackle problems that are too big for a single prompt. And the final one, 
If you expect a certain type of format, just instruct ChatGPT that you're expecting it and it will show it. There are many, many other techniques. Some have fancy names, others not. After thousands of chats, these are the ones that are most useful for me. Finally, the third part of the PDF. Copy-paste these prompts. I call these follow-up prompts. ChatGPT is never perfect from the get-go. Use these prompts to iterate on unsatisfactory replies from ChatGPT. I use these 11 all the time. They're not special in any other way. They simply work for me. If you find other good follow-ups, let your colleagues know or let me know. Share the knowledge. Okay, let's go through the file once again. You start a chat. You define the goal, provide the context. Use a persona when relevant. Apply these techniques to prompt better. Then iterate on the results by copy-pasting these prompts. Great. Finally, these are just general rules that you should follow. Do these often. Ask GPT for whatever problem you have at work. This is how you will learn, by interacting. Number two, when in doubt, break down big tasks into smaller tasks. Don't overestimate the AI just yet. Number three, often fact check on Google. It is easy to start trusting ChatGPT a bit too much and this is where you're gonna, when you're going to get in trouble. And then the don'ts. Do not do this. Do not stop using ChatGPT. The world has changed forever. Whoever cannot utilize ChatGPT will simply be worse off. Number two. Do not trust ChatGPT blindly. ChatGPT works based on probabilities and literally guesses every answer. Be careful. Number three. Do not share secrets. ChatGPT doesn't care, but your employer and bad actors might. You can get in serious trouble if you share secrets. Okay, finally, let's be old-fashioned. If you have access to a printer, print this out. It is white, and the reason for this is that it is meant to be printed. Print it out, put it next to your desk, and refer to it until you learn how to use ChatGPT. Good luck! And thanks for watching.